Tonight at 11, a startling act apparently by someone new parents should be able to trust, a nurse at the newborn intensive care unit. In this case, upsetting photos of a baby fighting for his or her life were posted on the social media accounts of a Jackson Memorial Hospital employee. A CBS4 viewer saw them and alerted us, so CBS4 investigated. Let's go to Austin Carter, who joins us live with this troubling story. So, Austin, what were you able to find out about this? Well, Carly, for one, you have to wonder what this person was thinking, posting these horrible pictures of this innocent baby on social media. Well, now the hospital is taking some action. A Jackson Health employee is on administrative leave following these disturbing posts on social media mocking a sick baby in the neonatal intensive care unit. We won't show the pictures in full, but here are their captions. One says, my night was going great, then boom. The other says, your intestines supposed to be inside, not outside, baby. That's followed up with hashtag gastroschisis. Gastroschisis is a birth defect of the belly where the baby's intestines are exposed. The posts were made on accounts belonging to the name Sierra Samuels, a nurse at JMH. On her Facebook, she's seen smiling in her hospital uniform. Jackson Health tells CBS4 News any potential privacy breach is taken seriously and that all employees are provided privacy policy training on a regular basis. A statement sent to CBS4 News says in part, employees who violate these privacy rules despite being educated are subject to disciplinary action, including suspension or termination. As soon as we learned of this potential breach, we immediately placed this employee under administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. Miami litigation attorney David Weinstein says there is a certain expectation of privacy if you're in a private area, especially in a hospital. In addition to just the general HIPAA violation that we'd be looking at here, there's a sense of decency about the rights and expectations we all have in our likenesses and our images. And a hospital representative also tells me that the parent has been notified about this breach. I have reached out and tried to make contact with this employee surrounding all of this, but I haven't yet heard back from her. And as for the condition that nurse says this baby has in those pictures and in those captions, well, it does have a 90% survivability rate. We're live at Jackson Memorial Hospital. I'm Austin Carter, CBS4 News tonight.